Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be showing you how to utilize ClickFunnels 2.0 to delete a funnel. Probably going to be one of the fastest tutorials ever. Let's start it off. So what you want to do is go to this icon over here where sites and funnels are. Once you are there, make sure you navigate to your funnels, of course, and then you're going to have a list of all your funnels there. So what you can do is click on the gear button or icon right here. So click on edit funnel. And all you need to do is scroll down to the bottom and click on archive funnel. The reason I bring this up is because a lot of people might see this or maybe they don't see it and it's very similar in another way of pretty much just deleting it. So what you can do is click on this red button right here. It says, are you sure you wanna archive this funnel? Absolutely, let's proceed. And just like that, it's going to be gone. The cool thing about it is that say you archive something and maybe you want to come back to it. There was some information on it you wanted or like you liked the way you created a landing page. You wanted to get another look. You can go to the archive section. And when you do that, you can actually just click on the trash to uh, restore, which is funny because it, it looks like you would just delete it, but it's just restoring it. So if you click on this, are you sure you want to restore this funnel? Sure, let's proceed. And just like that, it's back to basics. So overall archiving is going to be the same thing as deleting. And in case you're wondering the reason why someone might want to do this, maybe you just have too many sales funnels there, you want to remove some, or it just depends on the plan that you're using. For example, basic comes with 20 funnels. So if you're getting closer to that limit, it makes sense that you want to delete or archive ones that you're not using. Same thing with pro. If you're getting closer to hundred funnels, you can always delete it. And of course, if you're the funnel hacker version, you're not worried about that. It's probably more an aesthetics thing, but I hope this helps you out when it comes to actually deleting or archiving your sales funnels and restoring them as well. If you haven't gotten to test out ClickFunnels 2.0, I will leave a link down below in the description. If you're a current customer or you're trialing it already, you can actually use that to log in and follow along with this tutorial if you want. Either way, that about does it. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.